Hello everyone, my name is Glantis and welcome to my YouTube channel where I do YouTube education. So without further ado, today I just want to touch on something that kind of disturbed me when it came to my attention about three or four weeks ago. So in my mind, I was like, no, not in South Africa. So I watched a content creator who does like travel vlogs or something like uh, showing off our beautiful cities here in South Africa. Thus far, he is doing cities that are in Gauteng province like Johannesburg, Santin, Pretoria, and all these beautiful places and apparently at some point or many times before he has been approached by securities that told him hey you are not allowed to film here where in South Africa there is no such a thing so consider this video as me turning into professor Clantus and you are in my constitutional law 101 class and this is the constitution of the republic of south africa 1996 and as you can see we are going to be dealing with a number of sections in the constitution so in the methods of professor stems i am going to be using a spatula as my way of conducting this lecture so if you do have a copy of your constitution or Google, then please turn to chapter one of the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa. And this is what it says. These are the founding provisions of the Constitution, Republic of South Africa. The Republic of South Africa is one sovereign democratic state founded on the following values. Section 1A human dignity, the achievement of equality, and the advancement of human rights and freedoms. Section 1b, non-racialism and non-sexism. Section 1c, supremacy of the constitution and the rule of law. And Section 1d, universal adult suffrage and national common voters. Okay, that, that is not, <laughs> that's not our part. And then we are going to move on on the supremacy of the constitution. It says in section two, this constitution is the supreme law of the republic, law or conduct inconsistent with it is invalid and the obligations imposed by it must be fulfilled. Now, the reason why I opened for you chapter 1, section 1 and 2 of the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa is because I want you to understand the power your constitutional rights have under the South African sun. Whether you are a citizen of South Africa or you are visiting South Africa as a tourist, as long as you are under the South African sun, you will learn how these rights protect you also. And so let's move to chapter two, also known as the Bill of Rights. And the rights that I'm going to be reading out to you are fundamental human rights in the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa. Section seven, subsection one, the Bill of Rights is a cornerstone of democracy in South Africa. It enshrines the rights of all people in our country and affirms the democratic values of human dignity, equality, and freedom. Section 7, subsection 2, the state must respect, protect, promote, and fulfill the rights in the Bill of Rights. We move on to the Equality Clause, which is Section 9 of the Constitution. Section 9, subsection 1, everyone is equal before the law and has the right to equal protection and benefit of the law. Take note of that. Section 9, subsection 2, equality includes the full and equal enjoyment of all rights and freedoms. To promote the achievement of equality, legislative and other measures designed to protect or advance persons or categories of persons disadvantaged by unfair discrimination may be taken. Section 9, subsection 4. No person may unfairly discriminate directly or indirectly against anyone on or more grounds in terms of subsection 3. National legislation must be enacted to prevent or prohibit 
unfair discrimination. Section 9, subsection 5, discrimination on one or more of the grounds listed in subsection 3 is unfair unless it is established that the discrimination is fair. And then we move on to the most important section, which is the reason why I have created this video, because you are a content creator in South Africa. Whether you are visiting or you are a citizen, you are protected by this fundamental constitutional right, and it is in section 16 of the constitution, which is titled freedom of expression. Section 16, subsection 1, everyone has the right to freedom of expression, which includes A, freedom of the press and other media. Now, we are YouTubers and we are part of other media. B, freedom to receive or impart information or ideas. That is what content creators do. We receive, we also impart, and we also have ideas that we put into our videos irrespective of where we are in South Africa. We could be right at the airport or we could be right at the presidential, right at the president's office or we could be in the mall, on the streets. We have that right to film. C, freedom. Now listen to this one because this is where you come in fully fledged as a content creator on YouTube or anywhere in South Africa. C, freedom of artistic creativity. That's you, content creator. You have the freedom of artistic creativity. So if you feel like, ah, today I want to go to the mall of Africa and vlog there my experience, the securities and management of Mall of Africa cannot approach you and say, hey, sorry, you can't film here. According to who? Because the constitution in section 16, subsection C says, I have the freedom of artistic creativity. That is what I'm doing here. Not only does it say that, it also says in B, freedom to receive or impart information. If I'm here to impart information about Mall of Africa to my American friends or my British friends or somebody that lives elsewhere other than South Africa to show them that, hey, we got this biggest mall in South Africa, that's information. If they ever think of coming to South Africa and visit, they might want to go to that mall. And then the last one, which is D, it says academic freedom and freedom of scientific research. Again, our YouTube videos sometimes are used as academic research or scientific research. So why would a mall manager or a mall security come up to you and say, you are not allowed to film here. You should ask them, show me the law that says that, and I will show you the constitution of the Republic of South Africa, section 16, my freedom of expression. I am here as an artist and I'm expressing my art by imparting information that I am going to be collecting here. So show me your law. And remember, the constitution of the Republic of South Africa is the supreme law. So if they are going to show you some policy that is inconsistent with the constitution of the Republic of South Africa, that policy they are going to show you is invalid. Therefore, continue filming. If they dare touch you, you can call the police. If they come and confiscate your camera or your phone, whatever device you are using to film, you can open a case against them because deleting, number one, taking someone else's device is called theft. And secondly, if you are going to delete whatever content I have in my camera or phone, that's a crime too. So you can open a criminal case against that mall manager or security that came to you and said, you're not allowed to film here. And if you continued, they manhandle you, that's assault. You can still get them arrested. And if they delete anything, get them arrested too. Because this is the constitution of the Republic of South Africa and you as a content creator, it protects you. However, 
your right to film at the mall is also limited by the very constitution so this is where i'm going to take you to section 10 human dignity so some people don't necessarily like to be filmed or caught in a film without their permission that is infringement on their dignity as well as their privacy that is why it's important and i see this a lot with many vloggers they would vlog and show other people's faces in their videos and that is actually wrong and youtube does not allow that either it's part of the community guidelines do check that out if you are going to film at the mall rather have the camera facing you no one else and if you find yourself having filmed other people's faces and editing make sure that you blur those people's faces because at the end of the day you do not want youtube coming down on you or the person or people that may see themselves on your videos basically approaching YouTube and say, listen, I don't appreciate this. So this is where you need to come in and be considerate of other people's rights too, to privacy. And that is section 14 of the constitution. Let's read what it says. Oh, before we go to section 14, let's go to section 10, what it says. It's just one line. Section 10, which is human dignity. Everyone has inherent dignity and the right to have their dignity respected and protected. That is your duty as a vlogger in a mall, on the street, or wherever there is the public to protect them and their dignity by not showing them on your videos without their permission. So having said all that, guys, it's very important for you to know the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa as a creator here in this country. So just make sure that as a content creator in South Africa, you know your rights, your constitutional rights, because they are supreme. If anybody tells you, you are not allowed to film here, unless you are going into a store in the mall and they say, please do not film, do respect that because that is also their privacy. But if you are walking on the boardwalk in the mall, on the grounds of the mall, that is public space. Therefore, you are free to film. So our law, like I said, our constitution in section nine says we are all equal before the law, meaning that it cannot be that I can't film in Pretoria, yet I can film in Soweto. What's the difference? Pretoria and Soweto are both in South Africa and both of them are ruled by the constitution of the Republic of South Africa. So if you are in Menle Mall and you are vlogging there and you have no problem, therefore you should also not have a problem in Jablani Mall where you also be vlogging. Because why? Our constitution is generally applied to all South Africans not just an individual or a race or a group of people. All of us are equal under this constitution. Nobody's above it. And no law or policy that might be created in some mall that will say, YouTubers are not allowed here. You can whip out your constitution and say, uh, please do show me those policies and I will show you my rights in the Bill of Rights in the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa. So my fellow content creator, if you ever watch my videos, now you know that you are actually allowed to vlog wherever you are in South Africa. The only thing that you should be careful of is putting people's faces in your videos. So well, that is it guys with our constitutional law 101 with Professor Clancy's and my spatula, as well as the Supreme Law of the Republic of South Africa, the constitution. So guys, Thank you so much for listening to me. I know you are probably asking, where have you been? I will explain myself in a video that is coming up soon because there's a lot to cover. Where have I been and what have I been attending? YouTube is kind of like interesting these days with events. I think because in the US, it's summer and usually in summertime, YouTube becomes very active with events and there are going to be events also here in South Africa. Hmm, question is who's invited and who's not? 
So don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe and also leave me a comment down below and let me know if you ever experienced a situation where you were told you are not allowed to vlog here or you are not allowed to film here. Next time you know what to do, just whip out your constitutional rights and they should also whip up the policy that says you are not allowed. If they show you, then you show them the constitution and say, ah, sorry, that policy of yours is inconsistent with the constitution of the Republic of South Africa. And therefore, I'm going to just walk away and continue vlogging, whether you like it or not. And if they ever try it, go open a case. And probably if you see that they've done other things that may render you to go to a civil court and sue them, then do it. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time with a new video. Goodbye.